Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 963. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 960 to 963, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to see how to look up a product price based on quantity. So we have two columns, product and quantity. And here's product three. We need to find the price, but in the third row of this price table, there's one, two, three prices for product three. Well, the way we determine which price is based on this uh, 47. So we'd see the category 35 or more, and pick this and come over here and put 35. Similarly up here, product two quantity, I'd have to find within this um, two-way table, meaning rows and columns, I need to find the right row, meaning product two, and then I would need to, based on that 31, find the right column and that intersecting value there, two-way lookup. We got the right row because of the product, the right column because of the quantity, that intersecting value inside this two-way table, that 34 bucks needs to come back over here. Now let's think about this. Here is our table, rows and columns. These are all the potential prices. And we need a formula that will look it up and deliver it. We want a single formula that we can copy down and always look up the right price. Now think about this table. There are rows and columns. So if we had a function that could look up a two-dimensional table, and if you told it the right row and the right column, it would retrieve right the price, we'd have the perfect function. Well, guess what? The index function does exactly that. You give it a two-way table and the correct row and column number, and it will deliver the right intersecting value. Now, the only trick is index can look up this. You need to give it a row and column. But as we copy down, we're going to need different rows and different columns. So there's a second function called match. And match can look up a value so we can tell match. Look up product two within this range right here. And it will say what? The second item in the list is product two. And that will be the trigger to say this is the correct row. Similarly, we can look up a quantity. And it will know these categories, right? So 31 fits in this category. It will know that from this two-dimensional table, it wants the second column. Boom. So you're ready? Let's do it equals an index. And there it is. Index wants an array, a row number, and a column number. We're not going to do this one down here. That's for when you have lots of different tables. But array, totally easy. Just highlight that two-dimensional table and hit the F4. Now, in order for index to work, you have to have some uh, indicator at the top of the columns and the top of the rows right, to say which intersecting value, comma. Now, row. Well, just for kicks, I knew if I manually did this, it would be 2. So I could literally type a 2 there. And then comma, because we want the second column, I can literally type a 2 there. But again, that's never going to work because it's not dynamic. In this case, it works. But when I copy it down the column, of course, that's silly, right? Ugh, that's terrible. All right, but no problem. Instead of typing the numbers in, the match function will come to our rescue. Match. You can tell it to look up a product, comma, within a certain range. And it, this range doesn't matter if it's vertical or horizontal, because all it does is tell you the relative position, 1, 2, or 3. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock this, so when we copy down, that works. And then comma, match type. Uh, less than, exact match, or greater than. Well, for us, looking up a product name, we're going to use exact, so I'm going to put a 0. Close parentheses. Now, remember, this was supposed to be a 2. So when I highlight it, and if I hit the F9 key, that is pure magic. I'm going to undo that con Control Z, because I want to be able to copy down and have that change. Row number, I type a comma and get to cop Whoops, Control Z. I accidentally had it highlighted. I'm going to click at the end. There's our row number, comma, to get to the next argument. And I'm going to use match again. And I'm going to look up quantity, comma, within, and I'm going to move this, within this range right here. These are the column headers, right? It doesn't matter that they're horizontal. It'll still say, when it looks up this 31, it'll know to go to this category, take the second one. Now I'm going to hit F4. And now we got to figure out what in the world is going on with this match. Because over here, when we did this first match, it found exactly product 2. But what's going to happen here when I say, for this match right here, when it's looking up 31, there is no 31 here. 
right? Check this out, though. There's our lookup array type, a comma. This first one means less than. That means it's going to find the first value in here. The, I'm sorry, the biggest value in here that is less than that 31. Now that's kind of a complicated way to, to say it, and if you go to help, that's what it says. The way I think of it is this. Match, when it's looking up this 31, it's going to race through here, and when it bumps into the first bigger one, it knows to jump back. Right? That's not technically how it calculates underneath, but that's a good way to think about it. All right, so ready? Comma, and I'm going to use the 1 or approximate match this less than, that's the default. So if you leave it out, it'll automatically do that. Now there's one other type. Notice it says less than. This one down here said greater than. If you were to use that, it would race through. And when it found the first uh, one smaller, it would jump back. Now, if you're going to use this approximate match, for number one, which we're going to use, the, the values actually have to be sorted from smallest to biggest, which they are here. So I'm going to either put a one or just forget it. I know that match type is the default. In fact, anytime you see square brackets like that, it means if you know what the default is, you can leave it out. And I know it's number one approximate match, so close parentheses. Now I can also highlight this and prove to myself that this match is delivering the correct uh, position or column number, 2. I hit the F9 key there to see that, 2. Now I'm going to Control Z to undo it. Hey, that F9 to evaluate helps you when you're doing long formulas like this. Now, here's my column number. I'm going to close parentheses. The screen tip goes away. I Control Enter, and I can double click and send it down. And sure enough, look at that. Product 1, 9, it got 22. Product 1, 9, 22. Down here, product 124, did it get the 20? It sure did. You can even come down here and notice product 1 better be row 1, column 2. Let's go check it out. Let's see if that's true. I can come here and F9 it. Now this is going to get dangerous, but I'll show you how to deal with it. F oh, it got the right row. And right here, I'm going to F9 it. 2, 1, 2, absolutely beautiful. So even those matches, even though they seem long and complicated, like putting functions inside of functions, it's doing something quite simple, just delivering the right row and the right column. Now, the way you deal with this, if you F9 multiple times in a row, Control-Z only works on the last one, so you have to hit Escape. Now, index match, that is an awesome way to do it. There's actually a second way you can do this. Now, this is more versatile because if you were to uh, ever have to do this third type, because in essence there's three lookup types, then this is the way to go. And a lot of people just use index match match when they're doing two-way lookup. But in most cases, you're only going to do this uh, with smaller numbers to bigger numbers, which means that first number one approximate match. In that case, you can use VLOOKUP and MATCH, and you only have to use two functions. Now, VLOOKUP is vertical. That V means vertical. And the lookup value we're going to give it is a product 2, comma. And why the vertical? Because in the first column of this table array, you have to have the values you're looking up. So I'm going to highlight this and then hit the F4 key. The V means vertical because the products that we're looking up right here are listed vertical. Now, VLOOKUP, comma. Now it needs a column index. Notice VLOOKUP, in essence, builds in finding the row number. But that table we gave it is not just the inside numbers. It also has to include that first column with the lookups, right? But check this out. The column number is similar. I'm going to move this up here to what we did earlier, except for the fact that we need to tell it column 1, 2, 3, or 4. No problem. We can use match to do that, right? Match. And I'm going to look up the quantity, comma. But if you're going to use the VLOOKUP option, that lookup array has to include four columns. Even though our value starts right there, I had to give it four, because VLOOKUP needs to know one, two, three, or four. Now I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. And then comma, oops, I don't need the comma. I'm doing approximate match. There's a blank, a 0, a 20, and a 35, so that will work. I close parentheses. Now, comma, remember, we, the, originally the VLOOKUP was looking up this product 2, and that's in the first column. But you absolutely have to tell the VLOOKUP 
what type of lookup you want to do. Now notice this is a different drop down than the match. VLOOKUP only has two, approximate and exact. Now this approximate match is the number one in the match. Right? We don't want that. We want exact match. Now it says you can you could double click this and put in false, but forget it. You can put in zero and it will know that zero, just like the match function, means approximate match, finding uh, the first biggest one and then jumping back. Now close parentheses. That exact match, zero, is for the VLOOKUP A4 product two. Got it? All right. Close parentheses. I can see my screen tip here. I'm going to close that off. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, you know, they, they're delivering exactly the same values here, right? I tend to use the VLOOKUP and MATCH because it's just two functions. But again, we mentioned earlier, the MATCH function can do three different types of uh, lookup. So sometimes uh, people stick with that one. All right, uh, lookup product price based on quantity, a t um, standard classic two-way lookup. We'll see you next video.